So let us discuss that aspect of the flooding. The water, you know, is a cleansing factor. However, when it is of rushing water, there is the energy of movement and of cleansing, sometimes in a destructive way. However, when there is an instance of standing water, the bigger meaning or the representation that is not just symbolic, it acts in practicality, is of standing water so everything must float to the surface. Nothing stays buried in water. The water brings up to the surface things that were buried or things that will be revealed once the water subsides. So you have the element here of non-secrecy, of everything being uncovered and everything being brought to the surface. And indeed, this prospect is exciting. There is a lot of what humans experience as devastation, as as damage, and also as a result, humans coming together. And you will notice that this is an inevitable part of human disaster. People coming together in a grassroots movement, meaning from the ground up. So rather than depending on authorities to provide help, which to some extent you must, as your capabilities as individuals are not as big as the whole system, so you think, there will be more and more people rising from the bottom of their neighbors to help their own community, to help nearby communities. And this is a part, inseparable part of that syndrome of this happening. So indeed, there are many, and this is just one of many exciting elements to events that many um, view with fear, or experience as devastation.